Hi, welcome back to Festival TV. I am here with Holly Foy, who's the chair of the Italian Street Painting for the Arts Festival. And we are here on Heister Street, which is the location of Italian Street Painting. And you'll see that, we'll kind of pan around, it's kind of boring, just a regular street right now. But Holly, tell me about the transformation. Well, it's gonna be very exciting. Um, during Arts Festival week, Heister Street actually becomes an outside art gallery, and we will have about 30 works of art made by artists who've already been selected and they've already been practicing their craft. We have artists doing a range of things from, we'll have a bumblebee, we'll have a charging elephant, we'll have some pieces by Pennsylvania-based artists like M.C. Wyeth, we'll have all sorts of surprises. You'll have to come down and take a look at it, but it really becomes an amazing, uh, crazy quilt of outdoor artwork done in chalk. And Italian street painting has been around forever. Um, it's only been part of the festival for about, what, 11 or 12 years this now? Be our 11th year. So, but tell me a little bit about the history of Italian street painting. Well, during the Renaissance, underemployed artists would literally take their craft to the street to kind of show off what they did and to advertise. They weren't TV commercials and things like that. So they would do street paintings, which are called street paintings, but they're actually done with pastels so they can wash off and, and disappear when you need them to. But they would create works of art on the street. Passers-by would sit and literally watch for hours. You know, this was pre-TV and, and uh, there was no Twittering or no one had the computers to play on, so they would sit and watch people create artwork for hours. And if the artist was lucky, people would toss them coins, so at minimum they would get lunch or dinner out of it. If they were very lucky, a patron would come up and say, I love the way you work. Do come live at my house for a month or so and make paintings of my daughters. And people would come over, the neighbors would come over after dinner and literally watch paint dry, watch the artist work, and that was the, the entertainment. And so the street painters would use that as a form of advertisement. And, you know, it really hasn't changed that much in the hundreds of years since the Renaissance. <laughs> Not too much. We have lots of other um, entertainment options, but it is still fascinating watching an artist at work. So if you come down on Thursday, you'll see our artists um, doing their preliminary work and graphing out their artwork. And if you come back on Friday or Saturday, amazing works of art will have sprouted up from the street. And we still have patrons for some of the of the uh, works here on Heister we Street. We have local businesses who very generously have uh, helped us fund this endeavor. We uh, go through over a thousand dollars worth of chalks every year, and two or three hundred dollars worth of duct tape. So we do need a little bit of financial backing, and we are very appreciative to the local businesses who've donated money to help for this, including the Downtown State College Improvement District, who's very generous again this year. And the artists themselves, tell me a little bit about them, who they are, where they come from. We have about 35 artists. Um, about half of them are State College area high school art students. I'm an art teacher. We do a lot of our recruiting from our best of the best. And it takes a certain kind of dedication to be willing to do a four foot by six foot work of art that you create on your hands and knees in front of an audience on the blazing heat in the middle of a black street. So it takes a lot of dedication. About a third of the artists this year are ex-State College area high school art students who just love doing this and come back every year. And about a quarter of them are Penn State students and local artists who just have walked by, been amazed, and have begged to get a spot and I've relented. And they're all very, very talented and we love working with them. And beyond just being spectators and watching these works come to life, how can festival goers get involved? Well, everyone has a little artist inside them, and for $5 we will sell you a box of pastels, the same kind that our artists are using, and we have a mini, mini masterpiece area where you can do an 18 inch by 18 inch work of art yourself. And we have little kids do this, we have college students that walk by, we have whole families, we have uh, late night partiers that come and do a work of art and so a little bit of everyone can be a festival artist and then you can tell everyone that oh yes I had a piece of my artwork done on Hoister Street and join in the fun that way. And it takes hours upon hours for these works of art to be um, work mapped out and then created and finished. Um, what happens to them after the festival? Well the festival makes the whole town into kind of a magical place and just like the artists leave campus, they leave Allen Street, they pack up and go, the artworks pack up and go too. Um, if the weather doesn't take care of it by giving us a rainstorm on Sunday night, we actually have a street cleaner that comes. And the amazing works of art become an amazing rainbow puddle and they all drip into the sewer, sewer um, drains and they're washed off the street. When can people come and see this 
magic happen. We will be doing the behind the scenes work on Wednesday while the kids festival is going on. We'll be laying out the street and setting up frames so when the artists appear their art frame is already there for them to fill in. Thursday the artists are here for the first time and they do the underwork. They graph in their image and work on proportions and things like that. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday during festival hours. It's amazing. We really invite you to come down and see that. Well, Holly, thank you so very much. I know I'm very excited to see how Heister Street is transformed, so I'll be checking in with you during the festival. But best of luck to you, and let's hope for sunny weather.